Today on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out, we're talking about reviewing your year. Do you wander through each year, never taking time to reflect how the year went? Are you aware of areas that you could improve upon? Would you like to acknowledge and celebrate all you've accomplished? Let's continue our month focusing on tidying up 2017. Are you ready to clear your clutter and share your gifts with the world? Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., join me on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out as I teach you how to navigate the waters to declutter your life, get organized, and become more mindful. I'm an award-winning professional organizer, author, and certified life coach, and I destroy the box and examine clutter in all areas. Every episode, I'll give you take action steps that you can easily apply to your life. Come on, let's get started. Today's episode was inspired because this is always a good thing to do. Be aware, you can't change what you don't know or acknowledge. Awareness plus action equals change. I think this is also a great idea to do as a couple or as a family as well as with yourself. Why would you wanna do a year end review? This allows you to discover what you've learned. Every life experience brings life lessons. You can choose to be on autopilot or examine what you've learned. I learned that I still have areas where I am a victim. It's a lot more subtle now, but boy do I wanna shift that victim energy. I've also learned how I have to honor when I need to walk away from something. When I know what I've learned, I can take action and know signals for the future, like when I wasn't honoring myself. A year-end review can also support you in getting closure. In December 2016, all my podcasts focused on closure from the physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and relationship perspective. I felt really moved to do all the separate episodes. Reviewing your year can help you discover where you need to do closure and tidy that up. It supports you in clearing clutter and getting focused. Throughout the year on social media, I post at the end of each month. Where are you on your goals? Where do you need to course correct? Are you where you want to be? By reviewing your year, you can gain clarity where you went off the path or if the, that path wasn't the right one to be on. It allows you to see where you may be challenged and you can now create the life you desire. Having focus helps you make the most out of your days. It will allow you to be ready to roll for the new year. Create your goals and what you want to accomplish in the new year. When you are focused and know what your goals and priorities are, you can make it happen. Maybe you need to course correct and things need to change. Reviewing your year will help you with that. Get out a notepad and make notes. Or do on your computer or in a Word app. Whatever makes the most sense to you. Flipping through your date book or calendar can also help jog your memory. Look at your life overall. What's the big picture? Where have you been heading? This helps you to see the overall direction of your life. Are you moving in the right direction? Did you get distracted? How does your life's direction need to play out in 2018? Do you keep saying you'll get organized someday? but someday never comes? Are you overwhelmed, anxious, and exhausted by your clutter? Would you like to save time and money while reducing your stress? Are you ready to be organized and decluttered in 2018? Our Get Organized 2018 Facebook Mastermind Community can support you. Begins January 11th with special pricing. Find out more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com under Life Organization Masterminds. Come on, 
Join us. Review your accomplishments. What did you accomplish this year? What have you done right? This doesn't have to be anything huge. It can be something like not yelling when you wanted to give someone the finger who cut you off in traffic. It can be not joining an argument on Facebook. What obstacles have you overcome? What are you proud of? Did you make new friends? Are you in a fantastic relationship? Did you graduate? Take a course? Get promoted? How did you stretch yourself? How did you get out of your comfort zone? The good stuff we desire is usually out of our comfort zone. What's missing from what you accomplished? What did you learn? It's not a failure or a mistake if you learn something. How did what you learned change you? Review your priorities. Sometimes clutter and busyness can distract you from your priorities. Always reconnect with your priorities. Review them. If you aren't feeling them, then maybe something needs to change. What's most important? Did you spend your time focused on that? If not, find ways to fix it. What are you grateful for? What clutter did you clear? What mental blocks did you overcome? How about your emotional clutter? Your spiritual clutter? How are your relationships? What are you grateful for? What do you have to be thankful for? How do you see that in your everyday life? What made you happy? What didn't make you happy? What needs to change? What needs to go? What needs to improve? Use your year-end review as a planning map for 2018. If you check out my January 2017 podcast, the whole month focuses on way to achieve goals. Take actions from today's podcast. Do a year-end review. Discover where you need to make changes and create a plan. Be very clear on what's most important to you. Release anything that didn't serve you and move forward. Based on your review, create goals and actions that you can do to move forward. On our final episode for 2017, we're talking about creating space for 2018. Go out, clear the clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Sign up for our newsletter at reawakenyourbrilliance.com and receive a free copy of 10 Steps to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. If you enjoyed today's episode, I would love it if you would rate and review the show. See you next Tuesday at 1 o'clock. Remember, when you clear your clutter, you can create the life you desire. Thank you.